Good morning, everybody. I know everybody's just waking up. I'm hoping you're getting plenty of water and hydration and breakfast so you're well nourished and ready to rock today. I want to let you guys know how proud I am. Yesterday's effort and energy was just phenomenal. And I know today's going to be even better. And of course, Friday's going to be better than that. And then we're going to end Saturday, which is a phenomenal event, leaving those kids with the most special experience they can have. And so with that in mind, let's make sure that we continue to do things that we were asked to do in that counseling video. Make sure we stay engaged. Make sure we're putting those campers first, serving your teammates also and serving the coaches also. Know this, as a coach, you want to always be looking for something to do. So as you're you're out there doing what you're doing as a counselor, you got to think of yourself as a coach. So what would a coach be doing when there's something that doesn't look like needs to be done? You know, we're transitioning from one place to the next. The kids are getting waters. How can I do something productive to ensure that we're running efficiently and I stay busy? All right. Also remember that when we start talking to a friend or whatever, sometimes that conversation can carry on. And now it goes from like a 30 second, you know, hey, what's going on with this to now we're talking for two or three minutes and, and, and we're looking like we're not engaged. So stay engaged, work hard, take care of one another, enjoy the experience with those campers, enjoy the experience with your teammates, enjoy the experience with those coaches and keep it up and just have a great time. Remember, it's about those campers. It's about us building some camaraderie and serving our community. And it's about us understanding the game from a coach's perspective. So keep it up. I'm proud of you. I love you. When we get out there today, I want to go over some things, okay? Some things that you guys need to understand. Today, of course, I don't need you guys here before 5. If you show up before 5, it's okay. Uh, but know that we want to have the field set up at 5.45, okay? So as you come in, Emily will have your shirts. Pick up the same size shirt you had yesterday. She's going to check it off. Make sure that you do that. If you did not turn your shirt in for whatever reason, make sure you bring your shirt because we don't have any extras for you and we all need to be in uniform. Make sure we're in a proper uniform. Tennis shoes or cleats, okay? Make sure again we're wearing our pants the correct way. And we look professional. We look like a coach should look out there. All right. And I know that we do that well already. But again, these are just subtle reminders that we want to continue to focus on. So that way we give again this best professional camp experience we can give. But when we're out there, know this, part of that whole thing of being assertive and figuring things out is you should understand by looking at your plans, who your coach is that you're responsible to and what they need on that field. You know, Coach Floria, Michael Floria is filling in for Coach Hicks when he can't be there. And so you wanna lean on him, you know, you know Jordan and uh, Day Day, to find out what he needs and make sure you have those things out there for him. And then on the flip side of things, offensive line guys, you need to know where Coach Leffler and Coach Massey and Coach Coleman are gonna be. And you need to make sure that gear that they need to use is where it needs to be as well. And then we need to make sure that stuff goes back. And we need to make sure it goes back into that seed crate the correct way, put on the shelves, so that way everything can come in and come out well. Notice that that means put in the seed crate well. I don't want things just thrown in there, uh, because that's not a good situation and it allows it's hard for for anybody else to put their stuff in there and generally the cavaliers who are left behind at the end of the practice are the ones cleaning up the actual trail or the actual shed so let's make sure that's squared away to help you guys understand how things look i want to go over what your assignments are who you should be with and what that looks like especially not when it just comes to the beginning of practice but at the end because the end is that's pretty much the culminating event and this is where the kids really can have a, a concrete experience that settles in and tells them they had a great time and are excited about coming up tomorrow. The way we finish is always important. So we have that combine set up or that ops course set up at the end for conditioning. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that we understand what our role is and how we set that up. It wasn't terrible yesterday. You got to understand you guys are somewhat fit, picking it, putting that together for the first time. And those campers are going through it for the first time too. So I know it's going to be a rock star event tonight. And it'll be great tomorrow and then Saturday's event will be even better. But here's what I want us to make sure we understand. The far left where I'm coaching with the, the younger kids, that's the one-on-one -on -one area. And so we'll make sure that that side is fit up or taken care of prior to the camp starting. We know we have our gear down there and we'll be able to quickly set up when we come out of that, you know, four downs of score or 77 opportunity. The middle section is the 102, which we call it the 102 because that's where the 102 guys start. And I think it starts with, our offensive guys. So the offensive counselors and offense coaches are responsible for that middle section and your specific, you know, drills that we're doing there. And then of course the far section closest to the parking lot is where the 103 kids start as the defensive coaches, as the defensive counselors, 
you guys are going to make sure that you cover those things there. Let's first and foremost go where we're supposed to be. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like for everybody on the field and who you're responsible to. So here we go. Uh, when we looked at day one uh, camp, you can see down here at the bottom, I've written in, okay, what our responsibilities are. You know, so Jason Britton, Aiden Datcher, Charles Galloway, Desmond Wolf, you guys have the eight half circle of agility bags and three hand shields brought out. Uh, Gage gets the smaller footballs and the, the you know, smaller orange cones. Again, David Malachi, um, uh, David White, and Navoria, make sure the two pop up dummies are up. And then again, you can see that at, at the bottom, we talk about what the conditioning setup is and what they should be doing for that, right? Awesome. All right, so. So let's go ahead and look at what it looks like when we go to the 102, 103 guys. So camp day one, 102, 103. So when we pull this up, look down here, Jordan and uh, Day Day are responsible for the conditioning of the long jump. So I'll show you what the long jump is, but you guys need to be at the long jump area. Okay, long jump area. And, and, and again, anybody who's not doing anything should be there as well. That's also Jalen Barnes and Carter Gosh and Ralphie Carrington's job. So we have long jump on both, you know, conditioning lanes. So you guys got to be down there encouraging those kids a long jump because when they finish a long jump, they're going down to the Alpine Agility, which is covered by my 101 campers, our counselors. All right. So uh, the domain and Derek, you guys have the conditioning on the agility bags. So we got to make sure you guys understand how we weave through that. And on the other side, you've got uh, all the bigs, you know, which can help out on either side. They're doing the conditioning on the agility bags there. All right, so we can share the wealth. Everybody should be split up evenly between the agility bags, helping out with the agility bags. On the defense side of the ball now, okay, we look over here, and we see that Macon, Jordan Darden, Kevin, uh, our Keegan Thorne, they're going to motivate and keep the kids running up and down the field from the tackling dummy. So when the kids get on the tackling dummies, these kids should be flying down to the hoops, right? When they finish the tackling dummies, they should be flying down the hoops. Both conditioning lanes should be doing that, and they should be coming to the middle of the field. All right, Deshaun, Markwell, Aaron, Cameron Wilson, you're going to motivate the kids and, and the same thing, having those guys run it. I want all the D linemen separating and having them run through the hoops. So Noah Jenkins, Cornell could be on the left side, King Jones, Dan Mansfield could be on the right side. That's what our specific responsibilities are. Now let's look at what we're supposed to be doing when it comes to what the field looks like. So here we go. This is the way the field looks like. So you can see, now I'm gonna change this real quick. When we finish the tackling dummies, rather than running here down the tree line, let's have them run down the middle, all right? And they do not change lines. Let's keep the kids on the same line. So if the group starts here, okay, on the field or on the uh, conditioning uh, obstacle course closest to the, the bleachers, then let's keep them there. And if the group starts here closest to the tree line, let's keep them there. And instead of running them outside against the tree line, let's have them run down here, down the middle. So that way we can keep all the counselors, cheerleaders, whoever's in the middle, encouraging these kids to go to go. So here's the one-on-one -on -one camp. So what we have here is we have two tackling dummies set up. Specific jobs are set out to our kids to take care of that. And then we have the alpine agility, you know, simple alpine agility. And then what happens is as they come from the alpine, to the alpine agility, they're going to enter after doing the long jump. This is where the guys I just talked about being at the long jump need to be on both sides of the field. Then, oh man, messing this up. Then up here, you can see the agility bags. So when they come in here to the agility bags, they should be shuffling, maybe facing the, uh, the bay, and then come here, face the bay, and go the other way. And then they sprint out, hit to the cone. The guys should be there waiting at the cone. We're doing staying long jumps. Get them motivated, get them going. The hoop drill. All right, so we have one guy go in, they weave, and as soon as they get to here, another guy comes in. Once this guy finishes the weave twice, he's now out, and he's going down to the bags. That's the way it works. So the next person's up. They go. You're always giving someone rotate through that area. That's the way it all works. And, again, the defensive guy should be here. Any defensive guys that aren't on these drills should be, again, encouraging the kids all the way down here to come through the lane and get back in line. So we can have you spread out throughout that. This needs to start getting set up prior to the start of the conditioning. And so what that means is we need to have that gear staged. Now, you notice the one-on-one -on -one camp, guys, we took our agility bags 
and put them over in the one and two areas that way they're closer to you guys so you can quickly have access to it. I want to be able to turn the field over in three minutes and get conditioning rolling fast. And so because it's a time conditioning event, we try to go for 10 minutes because continuously running through it. I need to have the field set fast. We need to transition out of the 77, out of the four downs of score and rock and roll and go quick. So that's what I need you guys to do today. Any questions, please come with them. But again, let's rock out this practice today. Let's have a great time. Let's encourage one another to stay hydrated. And let's just do it the way the Cavaliers do it with uncommon greatness. I love you. I'm Coach Need, and I'm out. Boom.